Hello guys, my name is Doak and today I will design murals in the styles of Formula One teams. Let's jump straight into it. I picked uh, my favorite teams and right now we can start with the numero uno. Yep, no surprise. My favorite team is Ferrari. And right now let's pretend that they asked me to paint a mural for them. But the question is where? What wall? Would you believe that this is the entrance to the Ferrari? I mean, this looks like every single entrance to industrial areas over here in Slovakia. Somewhere behind that gate are the headquarters of Ferrari, which look like... Like this. My mural obviously would be somewhere here. Oh yeah, this is the picture that I needed. This, this is my canvas. The very first thing that I've done for sure is that I downloaded some reference pictures. Especially the most recent F1 car by Ferrari. Some of their recent street legal cars. And yeah, that's basically it. The first thing that I decided to do is to trace some shapes from the F1 Ferrari car. I do this because I decided to do a graffiti mural and these shapes will help me a lot with the creation of a graffiti style that would fit well with Ferrari. Also at this point I want to mention why I actually decided to do murals in F1 themes styles. Well as I said in one of my previous uh, videos I need more volume. I need to create more designs, more mural designs, more whatever designs in order to improve my artistic uh, direction and to simply practice. I used to be a big fan of F1 in the days of Michael Schumacher and Fernando Alonso uh, in Renault. But then I stopped being a fan for a very long period of time and I have to admit that Netflix brought me back to F1. And I believe that a lot of people can say the same. Anyways, as you can see, I started with the creation of the sketch and I'm struggling quite a lot at this point. You know I'm trying to use the shapes that I traced and at the same time I'm trying to use the logo of Ferrari as guidelines and I'm constantly getting into trouble because you know the F1 car has a certain flow and I'm basically trying to combine the F1 car flow with the shapes and the Ferrari logo which lacks any flow basically. It's very straightforward. And so I finished the first sketch and as I'm looking at it, I'm just not really feeling it. I love the F, but the rest is kind of messy. So I decided to use this sketch as guidelines and start over with a new sketch. And this helps me a lot because in the first sketch, I already solved a lot of problems. And right now I am solving the rest of the problems. I'm still trying to stick with the shapes, but I try to give it a little bit more flow. And so I finished the second sketch and when I compare it with the first one, I see big improvement. This looks a lot better, but I've already put a few hours into this and there is still a lot of work ahead of me. So I'm starting with the colors and I'm thinking, crazy or saddle? Ferrari is known for being more saddle than for example Lamborghini. They even sued some of their customers for doing crazy things with their cars. So saddled colors, it is. First of all, I tried this black and yellow combination, which looks great in my opinion, but there is this one problem. I can barely read the letters, so I have to fix this somehow. And the change is pretty big. I exchanged black for chrome, because this is another color that Ferrari uses, and I totally get rid of the 3D. But without the 3D, I needed something what will make the sketch pop. And so I decided to create a yellow background, once again, from the shapes of a car. But I think that I've done a better job this time. And then I started to play with the outline. When I was kind of done with the outline, I decided to incorporate horse's hair. I thought that it's gonna give the sketch this aggressive flow. I also added a chrome effect into the fill-in. I added a little bit of red because I felt guilty that I didn't use basically any red. Anyways, it's in the background, right? It's on the building. And yeah, when I'm done with these horse hair, they kind of remind me this old tattoo style which didn't really age well so I get rid of this background and I make a decision to make the outline thicker and as I'm doing this I'm having a feeling that I picked a good solution and the very last step I almost never use second outlines but over here this thin wide line felt so right. A few more details and we are done. And 
then we are looking at the final result. I like the colors and I like the flow of this piece. However, the shapes of the letters feel a little bit too pointy. You know, when you look at the background, there is this car flow, which I'm a little bit missing in some of the letters, but I really like the F. I love how similar it is to the original logo of Ferrari. To be honest, I can't imagine a world in which Ferrari commissioned me to paint a piece like this. And if they do, I think they would pick something a lot more subtle, a lot more simple. Awesome! Let's jump straight to the second team, which is Haas. This might be a surprise to you, especially after the last year, but I just like them, especially their principal, Gunther. He's such a funny guy. And they are doing pretty well this year, right? So far. Okay, let's look at Haas. Haas is actually automation company. They make robots such as this one. So yeah, you guessed it. Their branding is kind of boring. Their official colors. They have their official Haas red. But that's basically it. Their branding is very simple. I mean, when you look at their car, the only special thing that they added is uh, the Russian flag. But that's in the past now, so we will just ignore that. These are the Haas headquarters somewhere in North Carolina, and I can't get any closer. When I Google their headquarters, they look like this or this, which is nice, but I don't really see any 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 wall there. Although maybe maybe I can use this glass. Let's do this. So I'm starting to play with the logo. I really like it, but I want to bring a little bit more flow into it. I know that Haas is a tech company, but flow actually belongs to flawless production. And obviously it fits well with F1. So I adjust the logo just a little bit. And right now I'm thinking, what do I add there? And the answer is simple, Gunta. I also added a circle, which Haas uses in their logo, in their short version of it. It nicely put the text and Gunther together. And speaking of Gunther, I wanted to use only Haas colors. So I didn't really have all that many possibilities with his face. And I decided to use this um, kind of boring technique, which I called the Photoshop filter technique, except I didn't use Photoshop, I did it on my own. As I finished the character, I'm thinking, hmm, this is kind of too simple. So I bring the wall where I want to place this painting and I'm looking at the original sign. And believe it or not, there is a 3D on it and also a shadow. That's exactly what I need in order to make this more interesting. And we are looking at the final result. I can't help myself. I still find it a little bit too simple, but I guess it works well as a logo. I like the extra flow in the letters and the face there. It's just, it's just funny, I guess. Anyways, let's move to my wallet. Why? Well, because it's big and I hate it. Fortunately, the sponsor of today's video, Exter, helped me to resolve this problem. And another problem that I have, a very serious one, and you have that problem as well. So let me tell you how you can solve it. The mysterious problem that you have is that you keep losing things, important things, such as wallets. Right. The main advantage of extra wallets is that they are beautiful, but mainly they are small, which is very practical. But at the same time, this might be not practical at all. This is my old wallet. And this is the new one from Extra. The size difference is pretty big. However, I kind of need that stuff from this big wallet. So can I fit it into, into this one? The answer is yes. The great thing is that I can still carry cash stickers and there is also a space for coins which is great and yes when i close it the wallet gained some weight but check this out let's say that i want to go into city and i want to travel light sure. i just lost a lot of the weight and if you want to go even lighter you can get this wallet which is even smaller and have some cool tricks I can do this all day. The thing that I like the most is this card, which solves your big losing problem. I bet there were times when you wanted to call your wallet. Well, 
right now you can hmm? if you would like to get wallets like this there is a link in the description below that will take you straight to their shop they have some great sales at the moment and thanks a lot to extra for sponsoring of this video and now we can move to another team which is McLaren. You thought that it's gonna be Mercedes. Nah, it's McLaren. And as I'm looking at their website, there is one thing I know for sure. I'll use orange, like a lot of orange. Also, they use this light blue, this one. I'll use that as well. So McLaren is a very old team, but they not only race in Formula One, they also produce cars. Very expensive and beautiful cars. So we might consider that as well. If we want to talk about their branding, it's fairly simple. They have the logo and orange and sometimes the blue color, but basically that's it. The coolest thing about McLaren in comparison with other teams are definitely the headquarters. Look at this. This is so beautiful. I want to have an office right here. Mm, lovely. They also have these beautiful promo videos on their website. A lot of orange, black, blue, beautiful curves. The headquarters. Okay, I think I know what I want to do. I forgot to tell you which wall I actually picked. And well, it's not really a wall, it's a roof. Completely ridiculous place for a mural, but I can do whatever I want. <laughs> so I'm starting pretty similar to the Ferrari piece. I'm uh, tracing shapes from one of the McLaren cars. For some reason, I think that this time I did a better job. And when I look at these shapes, they all look so beautiful. So right now I just need to use them to create a piece. And I'll try to use the McLaren logo as well. Taking the shapes from the car and trying to make letters out of them doesn't really work. Or it looks very lame. Because in a car, these shapes are in a certain relationship between each other. And when you turn that into letters, you completely destroy that flow. So for now, I decided to ignore the shapes and start with the development of uh, general shapes of the letters. You know, the thing that you just see right now. And during the process, I got an idea to incorporate a car and try to use the overall shape of the car, which might add another interesting detail into this piece. I'm trying to make something out of this black mess and somehow it it works and as I continue doing this you know using the shapes from the car somehow this is working and I love it because these shapes are great they work and the sketch feels really fresh to me and as I'm getting to the end of the sketching process I just love it I edit 3d and right now comes an important question what do I do next for sure I will use the color combination of McLaren that I mentioned previously however I think about my awesome a roof idea and I give it up I don't really want to place this artwork to some some wall well maybe I could do that later but at the moment I want to be focused just on the painting and I really love this reference picture from their promo video with all these neon lights yep that's the direction that I want to follow and so I fill the sketch with the McLaren orange I add some grayish 3d and I start to play with a background which is highly inspired by the promo video I talked about. I also found some awesome brushes in Procreate and so I used them. And from the background, I'm moving to the fill in, which is frankly my least favorite part of, of graffiti creation. I always felt like as long as you are not doing some really 3D stuff, graffiti fill-ins are basically completely random. But I didn't want to keep it completely random and so I added this McLaren blue. And as you can see, I used it to create two circles, which should represent present wheels, spinning wheels. I also added these flares into the fill-in to enhance the, the flow. And over here comes another difficult part. I'm trying to decide what do I do with, with an outline. You know, the easiest and most common option is just add black outline, but I kind of hate that option. So I'm experimenting with some bevel style. I try multiple different solutions. I kind of hate it, then I kind of love it. And yeah, I decided to go with a bevel. 
And once I decided what I want to do, things started to be a lot easier because the decision making was over and I could just implement the decisions. As I'm getting towards the end, I'm starting to like this. I add some highlights, also McLaren logo into the background to make it absolutely clear. And one last thing that I added is a texture into the orange because it was too clean for me, too digital. Alrighty, guys, the creation of this video took me quite a lot of time, four days actually, which is quite a lot for a digital video, but this is exactly what I need. Sketching a lot, trying things. Yeah, I'm feeling very good about this, especially about the last piece that I painted. And before I show it to you, let me just say that I hope you enjoyed this video just as I did. If yes, thumb up would be awesome. Don't forget to check out Axter Wallets. And yep, thanks for watching. This is the final McLaren piece. When I compare it with the Ferrari one, this one is probably better. Yeah, it's definitely better. You know, I tried to fit the Ferrari painting to the building, but over here, I didn't want to cover about that. I just wanted to make a nice piece. And as you can see, it doesn't really fit to the roof of McLaren building, but I really like the overall idea. I love that the shapes are based on the car. I love that the overall shape of the piece is based on a car. There is the logo, there are the colors. The hole in the letter A even represents a window. I really, really like this. And I hope that you like it too. See you in the next one. You are still here, huh? Waiting for the Red Bull painting. I know, I know. I didn't do Red Bull because I've already done that <laughs> on a wall. Boom! See, this is what I did like a few months ago. Hell yeah. So now you are satisfied. Cool. <laughs> Cheers. Obviously, we go to Maranello in... Obviously. Eh. Bleh. To Maranello in Modena. So, no, it's not so. It's Northern Italy. The very first thing that I've done is, for sure... But... 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 but, 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 but.